So what we have going on right now is we are going to be making a paleo ahi pokey. Okay, so a pokey is raw ahi tuna. Um, you want it to be uh, sashimi grade, like sushi cut, high quality. Make sure you trust the source. We have our store here that always gives us the best. This is wild sushi grade ahi steaks. Okay, so I have my ahi steaks. Then I have a lemon, a garlic, and some sauces. Now, I am not going to give you guys the full recipe because I'm going to post it in the tribe, but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to make a recipe for yourself. Okay, so the first thing I need is a sharp knife. And you guys know I have a big block of those over here. If you're watching on live stream, you can just scroll over there. I'm gonna use one of my uh, very, very, very sharp ones that I very rarely use. And it is this one. Yep, it's my Wustoff Classic, okay? Um, my lemon is not green, it's a lime, just so you guys know. Ah, he is, yep. Yet another reason to be part of the tribe, right? Awesome. So I just have a dish to put my ahi in, and then uh, I have a garlic clove to crush. I got some green onions. I got some oil, some sauces, some sesame seeds. So at first I'm going to open this because I didn't buy this. Lindsay bought this. Um, so I haven't even seen it yet, but I'm sure it looks gorgeous. So do me a favor. Uh, if you guys love sushi, if you love seafood, um, and you want other people to know how to make something like this, just go ahead and share this. Oh, these are gorgeous. Wow, these look so good. I don't even I don't even like seafood and these look good. And yeah, just to remind you guys for a housekeeping note is, um, just to remind you guys for a housekeeping note is when you're watching my live streams, if you like something and you don't wanna leave a comment, just use the thumbs up or the heart. Don't ever give the angry faces because Facebook won't show you my live streams anymore. Facebook takes that content and that feedback and then they stop, they stop showing you my stuff because you're telling Facebook that you don't like it. So if you do like it and you want more of it, you need to send the hearts and the likes and you can tap it unlimited times. You guys remember on Periscope, you used to just be able to tap up to 500 times. You guys should do that 500 times on this live stream. Okay, so I've never done this before, so I'm gonna figure this out as I go. But this is a very, very hefty, hefty, and beautifully colored uh, piece of ahi. Look at this thing. I'm gonna show it to you guys right here. So check out this ahi. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And uh, I think I have to cut the skin off, so I'm gonna do that. And this is how I learn how to do this stuff, guys. I just try it, so. Um, oh, they already did that for me. They kind of they kind of filleted off a little bit. So let me get my uh, let me get a smaller knife that I can get in there, a little like fish knife that I have, and I will get that off. And then we will get to cooking, which isn't really cooking. It's just um, it's just really chopping it up, making the food, everything. Isn't it so gorgeous? It's um, the color is amazing. Like the color is flat out amazing right here. Yeah, I mean, I'll show that to you guys again. Look at that. That's phenomenal. Like I don't like this stuff, but looking at this and knowing how quality it is, it makes me want to eat it. And I even like the smell of it right now, which is weird. And by the way, uh, I'm ripening an avocado in the oven that I need to check. Um, okay, so that's still going. So. I'm testing something I read online and I don't know how it's going to work. I'm not going to put the avocado in until the dish is completely done, but I have a perfectly rock hard avocado that I now have in the oven that is getting um, baked at 200 degrees wrapped in foil to see if it will soften it. I'm just doing an experiment. Okay. So that's what's going on right now. And then guys, I have a little trick when I cook because I want to be able to get back to other cooking faster. So I actually use uh, gloves when handling like raw meat. And then that way I don't have to eat or wash my hands every single time. I can just take the glove off and then I'm ready to go. Um, and so I'm just gonna take this steak and I'm just gonna get the skin off, which it's coming off 
perfectly. I actually want to uh, point the camera down a little bit more. Miss the name of the fish. Oh, Aki, this is Ahi Tuna. It's actually like beautifully colored Ahi Tuna. You know what's funny is I'm quiet because I cook all the time, or obviously you guys know that, you follow me. Um, and I cook a lot of things, but because I never cook ahi, I'm moving all slow and concentrating because I don't want to mess it up and then my wife would be mad and then, you know, all that other stuff. So um, this is a, just to give you guys a reference on how thick this is. Um, so this is that ahi steak, right? And this is my hand next to it. So I'm going to chop it. I want it in um, like one inch cubes, right? But this thing is hefty. And so I'm going to give it a, uh, like a vertical, a vertical cut right down. And I'm almost going to cut it into two smaller steaks, which this is where having a sharp knife. This is where having a sharp knife is really, 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 really imperative. Now, Japanese knives have a lot finer edge because they're made for cutting fish and fine things. German knives like Wusthoffs and other things, they actually have a lot, um, a more broader, I'll call it broader. They have a broader edge because it's designed for like cutting bigger things. So I actually just remembered, I'm switching to my shun. Look, you guys can see yourselves in my knife. How crazy is that? Say hi to yourselves. Do you guys see that? Is that weird? I think it's cool. Look how gorgeous that is. So give me hearts if you like knives. Especially knives one. Oh, look at that. You can see yourself four times in it now with the mirror. Isn't that cool? You guys realize like how big of a dork I am? So this is my 10 inch shun, um, Damascus blade, which I love. Oh, look, it's even cleaner over there, which I love. And um, I'm gonna use this to cut this into two smaller steaks. And I'm just gonna go right through it. And I'm just going slow because I want it to be even. Look at that beautiful fish. Like seriously, like look at that beautiful fish. I can't, I can't make this up. I literally cannot make this up. So guys, like if I'm in the mood, I really, really like sushi sometimes. Um, and I like hamachi, I like yellowtail, I like a couple things, but like, I just have to be in the mood and it's not a bad thing that I'm not like in the mood all the time, but yeah. So now I'm going to cut this into like three quarter inch chunks and you want to make sure that when you do this, you cut against the grain. You got to You got to cut against the grain, right? So what that means is right here. You can see the grains in the fish running this way. So I'm going to cut this way. Okay. It makes it a lot easier to cut. You'll get uniformity and then you're not tearing the muscle. You're not separating the muscle. You're cutting through. Um, Laura, yes, Hamachi is yellowtail. This is Ahi. Um, so I'm just going to start now. And uh, it looks like I'm going to do like about a half an inch cube. Okay, so just going through this. And I have so much respect for like sushi chefs. They do so good. And then my, once I get them into my, the size cubes that I want, I'm gonna add them to the bowl. Perfect. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other steak because I cut these into two smaller steaks. And then we're going to, I'm going to start making the sauce uh, that this is going to marinate in, in the refrigerator. I'm going to make the sauce that this is going to marinate in the refrigerator um, for a couple hours. And then the last thing I'll add is right before I serve it uh, to Lindsay for dinner, I will add the avocado. Uh, the reason being is I just don't want the avocado to uh, turn. Now, even though I'm going to add a little citrus, I just don't know. So I'm just going to ensure that it stays as fresh as possible. 
So here we go. Okay, one more cut and then we have all of her ahi done. Perfect. Okay, so here's my favorite part. The ahi is done. I'm gonna move the knife over here. I'm gonna take the glove off. I'm gonna put the glove in here. I'm gonna fold it up. And I'm gonna throw it out. My hands are clean. Nothing to worry about. No need to go to the sink or anything. And it's beautifully done right here and ready to go. Okay, so now I'm gonna add um, a couple of the flavors that I want to include. Now, there's a couple things that I want to include that Lindsay's not a massive fan of, but what I'm excited to do, what I'm excited to do is I'm excited to use these garlic flowers. These are garlic flowers, they're edible garlic flowers. So when garlic is growing, which by the way, I have kind of a little bit of garlic over here, so here's some garlic. This is um, like volcanic garlic, right? Some special garlic that's knotted and braided and it lasts a lot longer. And so that's what this is. And so this is what garlic looks like. Now when garlic is growing in the ground, the garlic is below the ground, right? So one of these garlic bulbs is actually below the ground and then it comes up out of the ground and it connects to that flower right there, and this is what grows out of the ground. So it would look like pretty much this, with one, one's underneath it, and one's above the ground. These garlic flowers are edible, they're delicious, they're spicy, they add such an awesome depth of flavor. Um, I love them, they're really, really good. So what I'm gonna add to the ahi now is I'm just gonna chop about a quarter cup of green onions, okay? So I have my green onions right here. Did you guys, uh, nobody's commenting. Is everybody still here or is Facebook broken? Somebody let me know. You guys know I like to ask all the time because when it gets dead quiet, I get nervous. These are so good, by the way. I just love these. Have you guys ever had garlic flowers? Ever, have any of you ever had garlic flowers? Whoop, I just ate way too many at once. Holy moly, I ate way too many at once. So just don't, don't eat so many at once. Ha, Woo. got it. Okay, I'm just gonna dice some green onions. And then, just gonna eyeball this, but it looks like one stalk of green onion or so, um, which has like three sections on it, will probably be enough. Um, and I'll know in a second, I'm getting close down there. I used to be so much faster at chopping, like so much faster at chopping, but I don't practice it. Like I actually used to practice it because I thought it was cool. But then I cut off the tips of my fingers a couple times and I didn't think it was cool anymore. Um, and then um, garlic flour, I mean, yeah, garlic flowers we get at our, our grocery store. It is a, um, it's an organic grocery store that we have. It's a family owned place and they, um, they carry everything organic, they bring in awesome stuff. So, uh, what do you mean my kids too? I haven't been swearing, have I? I haven't, I haven't been swearing at all, I don't think. I've been trying really hard to not swear so everybody can watch me. Um, so if, I, if I'm not, tell me and I'll work on it. Um, and then, so now I have my ahi, my green onion, and then now I'm just going to add some sea salt, right? So here's my container. I get my salt. I'm just going to salt the ahi. Perfect. Ahi is salted. And then 
There you go. Look how gorgeous that is. Ahi, green onion, and salt. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to make uh, a little sauce. Okay? I'm going to make a little sauce. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mince my garlic. And I have a little garlic tool that makes this really, really fun and easy. Here's my garlic tool. My little garlic wheel, right? So I just find my garlic. I like threw it somewhere. There it is. Found my garlic. So all I'm going to do is peel my garlic. Just want to get the uh, the outer side off. And now this is a this isn't a very large clove of garlic because Lindsay doesn't like things too spicy. So I'm going pretty mild. Um, so just a little less garlic. And I'm going to actually garnish with some garlic flowers. So that'll complement the garlic flavor that we get from actually having uh, a piece of garlic minced up. And so let me let me do this real quick. And this bowl, this actually piece of garlic is a little small, so I'm going to use a second one. And uh, and I'm going to show you guys what this looks like when I roll this out. Let me just get the shell or the peel. I just garlic doesn't have a shell; it has a peel. That was a silly statement that I just made. Um, where do we get our ahi? We got our ahi at our grocery store, uh, Organic Roots in Temecula. Um, and I actually don't know. I've worked with companies like Vital Choice Seafoods before and um, Sizzle Fish, but I don't know which one of them offer ahi or anything. So here's the garlic wheel, okay? I'm going to open the garlic wheel up. I'm going to drop in my garlic like so, and you can see the little blades in there. You see the blades in there? And then I'm going to tilt the camera down so you guys can see this just because I think it's really fun. And then I'm literally just going to use the wheel and go like this. And then I went from having no garlic to having all of that garlic chopped up. So then I scrape the lid in, right? And then I open it here. I take out the blade, take out the blade, and then I just get it in the bowl. And someone says, is it easy to clean the wheel? Yes, it's super easy to clean the wheel. Um, I just use a brush or I run hot water through it or I put it in the dishwasher, but it is not difficult at all. They designed it so it's really easy to get everything out of it. Um, and then all you have to do is rinse it, right? So here's the wheel. Now it's empty. Here's the blade that doesn't have any garlic on it. So then I just put this in the sink and rinse it and then it typically comes right out. It's not difficult at all. So that's the garlic wheel. I tilt this up real quick. How perfect, Ashley. That's what I'm here for. Um, so just have the garlic in, right? The only thing I'm missing is my towel. There it is. I just have the garlic in. And then now I'm going to add a couple other things real quick. I got to get some measuring dishes. So first thing I'm going to add, I need to get out the refrigerator. So I'm going to use some coconut aminos. I'm going to use some coconut aminos. Um, Emily, yes, Emily, ask me in the tribe and I'll post about it. I think I know a couple. Sir Kensington's. Emily, Sir Kensington's has a non-avocado oil mayo as well. So some coconut aminos. I'm going to get this added to the sauce. Um, or to like the marinade is really what it is. Okay, so that's going in my bowl. Okay. So there's my bowl right there, garlic and some coconut aminos. Now I'm going to add a little fish sauce. And so let me get a measuring spoon out because I actually want to be able to post this for all my tribe members. So I'm going to measure specifically so I know what it is. Um, yes, coconut aminos are like soy sauce or they are a little sweeter sometimes. So you can also um, you can also use tamari, which is a wheat-free soy sauce, which is better. 
According to some people, my wife likes tamari better than she likes coconut aminos, okay? And then, so I'm done with that, I'm done with that. Then I'm gonna add, uh, I got my fish sauce, I got my coconut aminos, and then I'm gonna add a little secret ingredient to get like a buttery rich flavor. I'm gonna get like a buttery rich flavor with this. So this, macadamia nut oil, which I love. It has such an awesome flavor. Such an awesome flavor. Okay, got that. That's in. Okay, and then once I have that done, I'm just gonna whisk it together. So I got some coconut aminos, I got some oil. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite whisk. You guys ready for my favorite whisk? This is my favorite whisk right here. It's my Hello Kitty whisk. This is mine. It's my Hello Kitty whisk, right? Oh, no worries, Coco. Coco, you don't need me uh, to join the tribe. You can join at any time, Coco. Just go hit the, uh, go use the coupon code and try and, uh, and check out. So here we go. I'm whisking with my Hello Kitty whisk. Now I wanted to add a couple more uh, crazy ingredients to this, but my wife, um, she didn't like that idea and it's her food, so I'm trying to accommodate perfectly. Um, but I think it's gonna be delicious regardless. So here we go, let me move this over here. Now, you guys remember the beautiful ahi, right? You remember the beautiful ahi? Now, we're gonna take the beautiful ahi. I'm gonna tilt this down so you can see me do this. We're gonna take the beautiful ahi. And I hope Dan Brunelli's on here. Dan, I need to know where you're at. You asked me to cook more. I've cooked two days in a row and I haven't seen you. Eric, they're not hard to find at all. And Eric, when you're in the group, I'll give you a link to Thrive Market and you can get all of them on Thrive Market. Okay, here we go. Let me actually get a, um, a rubber spatula so I can scrape all the garlic in as well. I don't want to lose any of that flavor. I'm gonna use my little baby rubber spatula. Oh, there you are, Dan. Okay, see, I, I remember, Dan. By the way, I remember, I pay attention. So here we go. Okay, that's all in there. I'm gonna take all my dirty dishes, put them in here, get them out of the way. Clean kitchen means successful with cooking. It's always clean as you go. Always clean as you go. Always clean as you go, okay? And so now, now I have everything in here. I'm just gonna mix it around and make sure that it all gets evenly coated, right? Happy birthday, Scott, by the way. Our buddy Scott's in the house right now. Scott Levine, it's his birthday, and he's just an amazing human being. So thank you, Scott. And Scott's wife, Emily, is watching as well, who's another awesome human being, which I make up you have to be when you two are married to each other. Okay, so it smells phenomenal. Smells phenomenal. Now uh, I only have one more ingredient to add, which is my favorite. So I have some sesame seeds. And then I am going to add about a tablespoon. Uh, I'm going to measure these just so, just so I know, and just so it's done perfectly and correctly. Ah, there we go. Get the lid off. Perfect. Here's the sesame seeds. That'll be enough for my wife. Too many. She will not like it, so I'm toning it down a little bit. I'm gonna eat the other one. I love sesame seeds. Oh, Rebecca. Rebecca, if you join the tribe, you can talk to my wife about that. My wife is seven months pregnant, and she pretty much has no morning sickness and has been feeling great with the way that she's eating and detoxing. And I'm gonna have her talk about that in the group. So Rebecca, just join the tribe and we can cover all of that. So here we go. I'm just gonna mix this around, fold it in really, really well. 
It looks gorgeous. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Right? Like, doesn't this look phenomenal? And for all my tribe members, I'll be posting this in the tribe once I take photos of it and make sure I get it all typed out correctly. Um, and then that way you guys have access to it. So now, um, actually, all I need to do now is cover it, and then I'm going to refrigerate it. I'm going to cover it, and then I'm going to refrigerate it for about two hours or until Lindsay gets home, which is probably going to be way sooner than that. Uh, and then the only thing I'm going to add when it comes out of the refrigerator, I'm going to add the avocado and I'm going to add the lime juice. Um, Yorango, you join the tribe by clicking on the link in the description or there's a comment I left. Um, you join the tribe by going to hugsandbacontribe.com. I will post it one more time for all of you um, just so you have it and when we end you can go find it. So I just posted it again. Um, I am making a ahi pokey, um, an avocado ahi pokey is what I'm making. So now this is just gonna get the press and seal treatment. Which I'm almost out of anyways, I need to buy some more. Press and seal. Okay, perfect. Good, good. Shelly, thank you. And then so this is now going in the refrigerator, which I'll let you guys see because you guys love seeing my refrigerator for some reason. Let me put this in here and make some room because in here we also have, I'm going to be cooking a uh, cedar plank salmon for you guys as well in the tribe. Um, and so you'll be getting that shortly, um, possibly tomorrow. I might live stream that as well. And then don't you guys worry if you're not in the tribe, there's still recipes going up on the website, but my focus is really helping people accomplish their goals and kick butt. So that's what I'm all about. Um, and thank you for everybody that commented on the YouTube 360, that's awesome. So right now we are all done making uh, and pokey is like a Hawaiian name it's pretty much like raw fish that is marinated and cooked up uh, marinated and not cooked and then like there's restaurants in Hawaii that are all they do is serve pokey like all they do is serve pokey a lot of it you can get so many varieties they do it with different fish there's a place on Oahu where I used to live um, that that um would go out himself and catch the fish in the morning and then make pokey from that. When he was out, he was out. Um, Nikki, I'm going to be adding the link to the t-shirts into the tribe tonight. I'm working on the redesign of the website tonight already because I want it to be better for you guys. I just have to change some colors and then I have to change a couple layouts and then I'm going to record a short, a new video for the tribe with the welcome video that shows you guys how to navigate. So for all my tribe members, there is a um, the new website that will go live tonight already after six days. When you look at a post now, um, it's going to have all the information you need. But on the post, and I'm telling you this now because all the rest of you are going to join the tribe anyways. On the post, you're going to see the video or the image. And then below it, it's going to show the comments first. But next to the comments, there's a tab that says details. Details is all the post information. Comments is everybody's comments. So it shows you the comments first but the details tab is there and you click on details to show everything um, that I've typed all the links to everything. So that's the only note that I have for you guys. And so I'll try to remind you and make it as easy as possible, but it's about a hundred times easier than what we have now. Everything's going to be organized a little bit better. I'm working on new tabs on how I can do things for you guys. So I'm thinking about having a mindset tab. I'm thinking about having a weight loss tab. I'm thinking about having a nutrition tab. And then underneath those tabs will be the posts and the resources that go with them. So I'm super excited and it's just going to keep getting better and better. And I'm so stoked to have all of you guys in the tribe. Um, Ashley cutting board details. Ashley, this cutting board was made by, um, 
made by her name used to be paleo bug but she changed her name she changed her business name um i'm scratching because i'm sweaty and i need to go shower like it's pretty warm in here and i've been working hard and i've live streamed for a couple hours today so i'm just a little i'm a little anxious and excited about the group and uh I get like really sweaty when I'm cooking on live stream because like I'm putting so much energy into this. Like I give it my all 100% of the time to be on. And so that's what you're experiencing right now. And so like, yeah, the shirt is like making me itchy. Uh, and the microphone wire that's coming through here is like itching my, my chest a little bit. And I'm like, Ugh. right. So let me check my avocado real quick. See if it's getting there. It's getting a little softer. It's getting a little softer. So, so far that's not working uh, as best as possible. So, um, Sabrina's watching 360. That's awesome, Sabrina. Yep, so you get to see my kitchen. You can see the lights set up. You can see the tripod set up. Um, and then uh, you can kind of see everything else in my kitchen. So that's what we got going on. So, does anybody have any questions before I get off? And if not, um, I should be waiting to approve about five or seven of you in the tribe tonight. So make sure that if you're coming to join us in the tribe, uh, as soon as we end this, you go join. If you would like, if you would like us to send you a direct link and message, you need to check your Facebook messages when we're done. You need to check your Facebook messages when we're done. Okay. You need to check your Facebook messages when we're done. And that way we can send you the information because if you don't open it, then we're just sending it and sending it and sending it. Um, and I just want to make sure you're doing it. We work really hard to send you those messages just to make sure we help you. Uh, guys, this is just a business company for internet marketing. Okay. Um, it's just a business company for internet marketing that I, I use. That's all. Nothing special. My hugs and bacon shirts are for sale as always. Everything else is for sale. So I'm going to open the floor. Um, Renee, I'll have to cover avocado buying tips in the group. I'll live stream from the grocery store and I'll show you how I do it. And I'm definitely not an expert, but I do, I do pretty good with them. So if you guys have any questions, now is the time to ask. If you are excited to join, make sure you write the word tribe or go join now. Uh, I'm using regular avocados. These are the garlic flowers that I'll be garnishing with just for the photo. And then I need to get a new batch anyways. I haven't used these fast enough. And I probably only have like one day left of these. So, um, oh yeah, guys, when we send you a message, make sure you check the other folder in your Facebook messages. Make sure you check the other folder in your Facebook messages because that's most likely where it's going to go. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to end the YouTube live stream. So YouTube, it was great. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. You can find the rest.